Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha. If you're new, but if you're returning, then thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. It definitely means so much. So in today's video, we are going to be decorating for fall. I know, I know that according to YouTube standards, I'm a little behind on this curveball, but I'm hoping that maybe you haven't decorated already or you're still looking for a little bit of inspiration on how to decorate your home and that I can supply you with some ideas. Now, I will say that I'm not a superior decorator. I am just really trying to give my kids some of the memories that I had growing up. My mom always used to go all out decorating and that is some of the fondest memories that I have growing up. And so I just really want to supply that for my kids. Now with this house, we just bought this house December 2019. And then it was kind of a little too late to decorate for Christmas. So we really didn't go all out. And then that summer, my husband deployed probably about two weeks after we had our son. So I really was not able to go all out last year. But let me tell you, I'm trying to make up for it this year. And I'm not gonna lie, there are a couple areas in my house that I just have no clue what to do with. I need help. I need you to tell me what to do because I have no clue. Now I will be giving you some options in this video. So I did do different spaces, you know, different ways. And so I definitely want your opinion on what you think looks better. Or if you don't like either, then definitely let me know. Now I finally decided to decorate for fall because we had a very rainy and cool day and to me that just put me in the whole vibe for decorating for fall. And in order to start off this video I wanted to make sure that my house smelled exactly like fall and so I am going to be showing you this recipe with essential oils that will make your house smell just like fall. And the recipe that I'm doing right now is called Vanilla Spice. All you have to do is four drops of vanilla, two drops of cinnamon, and two drops of sweet orange. And I'm telling you, your house will smell just like fall. And I will, every single week that I post a video up until December, I will be giving you a new weekly essential oils recipe to make your house smell like fall and to get you in the mood for fall. So what you're seeing me do right now is I'm starting off in my family room, I'm simply ripening down my coffee table and then I'm going to decorate it. And I am going to show you two different options on how I decorated my coffee table. So definitely keep watching and let me know what you like, what you dislike, what you think I should do, what you think I should keep. Please, please, please let me know. There's going to be a lot of areas in my home that I'm going to not show you guys because I really didn't like how it turned out but I will be mentioning it in this video so hopefully you can help me decorate for fall. Now I will say that we will be decorating for Halloween very soon in about two weeks I will be putting up my decorate with me for Halloween video so I'm super excited about that. I wasn't really one to decorate for Halloween inside my house it was really just outside decor but being that my husband was deployed last year I wanted to make sure that the holidays still felt special to my kids and so I did a little bit of 
Halloween decor inside and I'm telling you guys they loved it and so I definitely want to make sure that I do it again this year you're going to be seeing that in this video I'm going to be only doing a light cleaning if you're looking for some deep cleaning what to clean or what to do for fall then definitely I will have a video linked down below or you can just click right above and it will pretty much let you know every single thing that you should probably be cleaning before you decorate for fall now I say let's go ahead and continue watching and let me know guys what you think do you like option one or option two for my coffee table and whenever we get done with my coffee table Table, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my fireplace. And reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you mm -hmm. We were such a constellation right No you to agree As you can tell with this couch console table, I had no clue what to do, guys. I really struggled with this area. I didn't think that I would, but I did. And I just really, I'm the type of person that with the decor that I already have out, I don't like to take too much down because it's just a lot of work. And so I do try to use some of the decor pieces that I already have up, you know, with my fall or holiday decor. So I was really struggling with this couch console table. And so I will be showing you two different options. Definitely make sure you comment down below and let me know which one you prefer or prefer neither or what I should do because I have no clue, guys. This console table was very difficult. And you get a little bit of a sneak peek behind me, that ladder that I do have in my kitchen, guys. I didn't even show you this ladder because it was just horrible. Like, I have it currently decorated and I hate it. And 
I just don't know what to do with that. So I don't know if I need to go on Pinterest and try to find some ladder decor ideas or what, but hopefully you guys can comment down below and let me know on what I should do. But this is option two of what I did with this couch console table. Let me know what you think, what I should change. But again, there are a lot of areas in this house that I just had a lot of difficulty decorating. And as you can tell, I love my browns. I love my burnt oranges. And you'll see that throughout my house, I do do some bright pops of orange, but I do like to keep it more of a, you know, neutral color. So more of the darker, darker uh, color tones.
I did decorate my formal living room as well. As I've stated in previous videos, I don't really treat this room as a formal living room because we do have the Xbox in here. And so my husband does play his game in here, which means my kids also do play, you know, the game in here. So I don't want to make it too, you know, uptight in this room. So I didn't do too much. All I did was put down a throw. I did some pillows and I did do these candlesticks. I wasn't able to go shopping last year, so I was really excited to be able to go out shopping and get these candlesticks this year, and so I definitely wanted to do that and use them. i definitely probably be using these also for my Christmas decor. I did have a table runner underneath our TV, but I just did not like it, and so you're not even going to be seeing that. Um, but I did also put on some white and burnt orange candle holders in this room and I did not show it in this video but if you watch any of my future cleaning videos throughout the fall holiday then you definitely will be seeing those. It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what, what's going on Don't waste your time being all alone Say what Say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Don't play me, cause you're pushing me away Don't say to me, that we'll talk another day Cause my phone, my phone, won't be ringing anyway That phone
We are now on the next day in which I am decorating my kitchen. I will say that my kitchen was not too bad in decorating, but there were some areas that I still do need your help with. So my breakfast table, I did not really like how the decor came out as well as the ladder that I mentioned earlier in this video. So definitely make sure you comment down below and let me know what your opinion is and what you think maybe I should do for those areas. I do wanna let you guys know that that recipe book holder that you see right there that I just moved, I did get that from Hobby Lobby and I love it. I did move it over onto the other counter with the Magnolia Table Cookbook because that is just a really good looking cookbook and so I definitely wanted to put that on display as a piece of decor on my countertops. I do want to let everyone know that originally I was posting a new video every single Monday, but I do want to let you know that with the holidays right around the corner, it's just a really, really busy time. And so I will still be posting one new video every week, but it will not be per se on Monday. It will just be during the week. So I can't let you know exactly what day that I will be dropping new videos, but it will be one new video per week. So definitely make sure if you're not subscribed, please do so so that you do not miss out on all of that great content coming your way weekly. I am now showing you some of the essential oils that I picked up and some of the wax melts that I bought. 
that will make my home smell just like fall and these smells were amazing i will be using them weekly so i'll definitely be letting you know which ones maybe you should pick up to make your house smell like fall and now i'm going to clean off my island and then i will be burning the pumpkin pecan waffle from bath and body works if you have smelled this candle then you know that it is so delicious and yummy smelling that if you have not tried this candle i am recommending 100 percent go out and get it if you want your house to smell yummy delicious like the holidays and this is definitely a candle that you want to look into We are now moving on to my tear tray and first I'm going to be putting the fresh orchard apple wax melt into my wax melt machine, whatever you want to call it. Now this I did get from Yankee Candle, but what I have found that is if you keep the wax melt cups that you get from Yankee Candle, whenever you're done using their wax, when it no longer has a smell to it, put it in the freezer for a couple hours then take it out and pop it out and it is that easy and then you can use whatever wax melt you want to use. So a lot of the times I do get a lot of wax melts from Walmart because they are a lot cheaper. Now I will say that with my tear tray I did not really have that much issue. Definitely comment down below let me know if you like it. A lot of these handmade signs I did get from Etsy. If you want the link, then definitely comment down below and let me know. And I will give you the link on where you can get these little signs made. But I definitely think that the tear tray came out cute. And I don't think there's really much I would change about it. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. to wake up yet I have thus far decorated all the areas in my home that I wanted to and now I am finally decorating this ladder in my kitchen that you have heard me talking about all throughout this video. Definitely comment down below and let me know exactly what I should do with this ladder because I am lost. I have no idea what I want to do. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that I gave you a little bit of inspiration on how to decorate your home for fall and I'm hoping that you will comment down below and help me finish decorating my home for fall. I want to say if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Give this video a big thumbs up because it does help my channel grow and of course hit that notification bell so that you will never miss a video and guys i will see you next week